Hmm. Funny, I don't remember her being here. <clears throat> Well, I suppose this is an interesting way to start my day. making fertilizer for something. Alright, that's the bacteria the sample. I know I've got methane cartridges hanging around somewhere and well, I also know that I have of this. Most things. Mutagen. On one. Let's go with Shanga. sample. Mm. Ah. If a of a terraformer. Whew. I think I'd rather be back on the island. <coughs> uh, 
I just foolishly ate both of my mushrooms. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. <sighs> Calm down. That was all you. Bang your head against a wall. I'm going to, to fix anything. Well, since I, I'm go since I've got food growing, and I, it's going to be a while before the those mushrooms finish growing. I might as well I'll get to work. Rather, get to exploring. Wait, I had I've got everything I need already. I think. Well, I guess I didn't need to. Okay, well, that's convenient. I've got to thank past me for thinking ahead. Thank you, past me. I guess now I just gotta wait for the DNA manipulator to finish up. One thing that bothers me about the, this, why do, do the tree these look nothing like, like the seeds used to make them? <laughs> That's just so bizarre to me. You know what, I'm just going to blame the mutagen and not dwell on it. If I think too hard about it, then I'm just going to end up going on some sort of tirade.
what's in the name of I don't know who this Riley is but but I'm happy to have her around she certainly she seems to be he helpful strange. This must be in an area that I haven't been yet. Or perhaps... Oh! How did I never see this? Yes, please. Guess once I plant these uh, more trees, I've got some exploration to do. I have an idea of where I might need to go for this, though so it's a bit roundabout. Enough of uranium rods for yet another uh, or, uh, reactor. I'm not going to make one right now. That would be a kind of pointless, but, but still, it's good to know that I can when I need to. Hmm. Better stuff. I'm prepping for my trip. Pop this in here for now. It's already night.
Now I should just need a few more bottles of water, maybe one more oxygen capsule, and I should be nice and ready. That seems to have helped a bit. Right, the water. You probably all know where this is going, but so I'm just going to jump cut. Yep, out here again. Just gonna pop in here real quick, even though my oxygen isn't low exactly, and then we'll see if we can't find this object. Oh. So, I could have just been in the, this area that easily. Well, I feel silly now. Mutagen eh, and free super alloy. I will take it. Speaking of super alloy, I have yet to come across That's a recipe that needed me. It was the uh, rod. I'll take the sulfur for sure. I'm always low on this stuff. My goodness, it is very hilly out here, isn't it? It is spooky out here. Now, what's this? Is that a waterfall? A 
It looks like, like whatever I'm looking for is almost directly under me, but how do I get there is the question. new way station because I have a feeling I'm going to be here a while. That is definitely a waterfall. But now the question is, how do I get, get down there from here? Oh, that is so cool. So pretty. I love that. Tier 2 Fertilizer. I will take that. Ooh. Can't get too greedy, though. Not unless... Did I already lose this my, my way station? No, I just couldn't see it over the hill. Okay, good. Other stuff, I'm having a look around. I know I already said something that's affected a couple of vlogs ago, but it's just so strange to think that, that not long ago, I would absolutely have taken all that aluminum, but now I'm up to my ears in this stuff, up to the point where I can just ignore it. Aha! Another one of these places, is it? Might even be the same one, but from a different entry point. <clears throat> Warden's Key? Okay, well, I don't know what to do with that. I get the feeling I'm going to need to make myself of one of those GPS satellite things. And in order to do that, I need to go back to my a base and make a compass chip or two. Honestly, I probably should have made one and a, or two of those already. I mean, I've gone this long without even knowing which way he is north, south, east, or west. Hmm? Oh, for a second there, I thought, thought that was, was a ship. <laughs> uh, 
Pattern recognition and my friends. All right. While I'm here, I may as well investigate that waterfall. Might be something interesting there. If nothing else, that is one beautiful waterfall. And a beautiful little lake to go with it. So, see? It looks a bit bare on the deposits end. Can't help but wonder if there are other ways in and out of this area. I know I probably he shouldn't kick or to just go back the way I came so as not to get lost, but at the same time, I'm here to explore, aren't I? I've gone against my better judgment before and regretted it. I think I'll, I'll follow my I gut this time and just go back the way I came. Besides, the lack of resources in those directions would make exploring there rather foolish. In my experience, Exploring areas with no resources often leads to disaster. There's just see a light hanging not around here. Just it's just there. For all the world to see. 
Or at least the immediate world, anyhow. Of course, the real question here is, is this. What in the world? Well, this is the this key for. What does it unlock? Eh. And who put it there? I doubt it's Riley. He seems just as confused as I was. I have long suspected that there, there were people here before me, but if that's the case, then that raises a lot of uncomfortable questions. My current theory is that this planet is much like Mars, that it at once had a, a thick atmosphere and a magnetic field and everything, but that at some point it, its core or grew too big eh, and solidified, becoming essentially incapable of of creating a strong magnetic field. With no magnetosphere, the atmosphere of this planet, it just... Well... Yeah, I think you get the idea. For those of you who don't get the idea, the solar wind would have blown the, most of the atmosphere off of this planet. The ocean and lakes on the planet wouldn't have survived either. Most of the planet's water would have either been taken by the solar wind or gone underground or frozen over. Hence all the ice on the planet when I first arrived. So, it seems like, like there might have been potentially a civilization here at some point. One that might have been lost to the ages. A warden and key makes me, me think that perhaps, just perhaps, there may have been some sort of lost colony out here, or perhaps a completely alien civilization. Either that, or if someone left this here for me to find, I don't know a which possibility I find the most disturbing. Whatever the case, I'll have to I think more about this in my next log. <laughs>